in our lifetime on this planet. What together we can do, north and south, east and west, in all corners of the earth. Take me away from home. Show me all the places I've never known. We're off again. This time we're going up to the uh, North Norfolk coast, back to Cromer, because there's a big fireworks display on. Happy New Year! So we're going to a campsite tonight. We're not going to wild camp because uh, we need to get as close to the action as we can. So let's go and see what this is all about. I think we just uh, arrived at the campsite here at Cromer. Pictures are really spacious and the uh, toilets are immaculate as expected. This is a caravan and motorhome club site. It costs an arm and a leg to be fair. It's 47 pounds a night if you're not if you're a non-member like us. But yes, once a year, it's New Year's Day, and uh, with a big firework display on tonight, I think it's worth it. We've definitely got parking, that's for sure. And the uh, cafe and bars open a little bit later, so no doubt we'll uh, exploit that. The campsite's just over in the background over there, and the pier you can see just there, so probably half a mile. But with all this gear, it already feels like a mile. So, I wonder where they're going to set them off because it's from the pier. Yeah, so they'll be from the pier, know, a bit sticking out into the water. I'm just thinking about photographs. No, actually, it's not too bad up here. Tomorrow we're going to head towards Haysborough, which is a um, famous lighthouse that's sitting on the uh, cliffs that are being heavily eroded by the sea. So we'll, uh, we'll go and have a look over there. in that pub then. Couple of hours? This is a problem when you take Claire out for a drink. But there's thousands of people standing here watching or getting ready to watch this uh, firework display. Who's that, Claire? That's me. <laughs> <laughs> and here's me. <laughs>
uh, fireworks are well worth a little visit. However, the traffic is atrocious coming out of here, guys. So if you're going to come down and visit, Park stay the night. <laughs> I'm cold. <laughs> she said she's old. I said I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cold tonight. So we just got back to the van. We've had a lovely meal on this site. It's really, really nice, actually. Everything's uh, pretty new. And toilets, as I said earlier, absolutely um, immaculate, as you'd expect of a caravan and motorhome site. Sorry. They're all really friendly, the people that run yeah, it. Yeah, people are really friendly up here. So it's, uh, if you've got the money and you want to come onto a site, this one I recommend highly because how close it is to a chroma, so you can walk in, no problems at all. So yeah, so I think we're going to warm the camps campsite. We're going to warm the camper up, and then uh, I don't know. An early night, I suppose. So, Haysborough tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> thank you, thank you, guys, and shine. Okay. Usual story here, though, folks. Hey, I'm up, dressed, ready. For people that ask about um, condensation and keeping condensation down to a minimum, the windscreen is absolutely dry not one bit of wind uh, condensation because of the uh, thermal windscreen blanket we've got on the outside so you, that prevents condensation on the inside and if I lift this window up you'll see the difference dun, dun, dun. condensation so you do really need to um, the outside of the van which then protects the inside of the van difficult eh so where's our first stop that was lovely nice yeah. little stop yeah enjoy that for 47 quid maybe not 47 pounds it's quite expensive for january yeah So we've just been to Halfords and uh, changed the main car battery, the starter battery. Uh, it must have got low. We don't know the condition of it, so it's always better to um, swap out where you can. So we've put a new battery in. At first, the engine management check light wouldn't uh, go off. So if you've got a Peugeot Boxer, um, Citroen Relay or Ducato, you might get, get an engine warning management light come on when you get a low battery. So when you change the battery, just give the the uh, van a run and it should go out. What do you think of that then? Yummy yummy in my tummy. So we're proper not doing the camping thing. No, <laughs> this, we failed this miserably. Time we failed. <laughs> so had a lovely big breakfast. Um, we're in between Haysborough and Munsley. There's a big cafe on the left called the Sugar Spice Cafe. Be sure to uh, go and check it out. The breakfasts are absolutely stunning. They're gorgeous. They've got homemade cakes. Um, just really, I don't know. How do you, how would you describe it? Just nice. <laughs> oh, okay, it's quite homely. Um, dog friendly. So if you pass them by in your van, you've got a dog with you. They're dog friendly, take them in there. Yeah, there's a few crafts for sale, a few painters on the wall from uh, local artists. So uh, yeah. support the community, go in and get yourself a big breakfast. Claire's over there taking pictures at the minute. Don't you think you see her right over there in the background waving? Of the lovely uh, Haysborough Lighthouse.
And uh, in the past, the lifeboat crews used to be alerted by the sound of, or the, the saying, ship ahoy. And then they used to have to drag their lifeboat 200 yards before it would hit the waves. So there we go. So you can't say you don't learn anything on this channel, guys. <laughs> As you might uh, be able to tell by the sound of the wind, it's, in <laughs> it's incredibly windy here today. So unfortunately, I'm not able to put the drone up. That would have been nice, a few shots on the drone. We're going to go back to the van, have a drink, and we'll see if the uh, wind calms down a bit later. So, as you can see in the background over there, that's the parking. That's how close you can get to the lighthouse. This is what it's all about, just getting out and about. And we're now in sunny Southwold. So... Yeah, we'll see how sunny it is in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, meant to get real chilly tonight. So we come down to Southwold, we're gonna do a bit of photography in the morning. So we've moved on from the Norfolk coast and we're now in Suffolk. Yeah. 